So guys, it's Alex, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about uh, why you need to be focusing on SEO for appliance repair, even if you are running ads. Uh, I know a lot of you are having trouble uh, generating leads from SEO. Maybe you're not showing up. Uh, maybe the traffic you're getting isn't converting. Um, we'll talk about a lot of that, in, or I've talked about a lot of that uh, in other videos, and I'll make videos about that in the future. Uh, but in today's video, I wanna talk about uh, why you need to be doing SEO. Uh, and kind of show you some examples. And um, yeah, if you need help with your with your appliance repair and marketing, uh, whether it's for Google Ads or SEO or driving leads or converting traffic, you can click the link down below for a free consultation call. Um, otherwise, let's just jump right into it. So I was doing some work for a client for uh, Samsung, uh, which was just for fridge repairs. They want to focus solely on fridge repairs. And uh, well, one interesting fact, um, and I'll, I'll get into this in shortly, but something I just was looking into was uh, Samsung is killing it in the fridge game, right? Uh, they are selling a lot of fridges, uh, but they have a lot of complaints. 70% uh, of the refrigerator complaints are coming from Samsung fridges, which are about a quarter of the fridges being sold uh, in the US, which is interesting. Um, anyways, kind of a tangent there. Uh, and let me show you why you want to be uh, focusing on SEO for your uh, appliance repair business and and how to drive leads from it. So our client was wanting to rank for fridge repair, <clears throat> um, just the broad fridge repair. And as you can see, I've already just done some searches for some ideas. Uh, but let's skip any of these and let's go with uh, Pittsburgh and just to show you why. So there are actually for this particular search, let me just move my um, face over here. So for this particular search, this is a great example here. There are no ads for Samsung Refrigerator Repair Pittsburgh, right? Uh, and the first thing that shows up, and there's only, sorry, there's only 56 results, which is crazy. So for if you search Appliance Repair Pittsburgh, there's gonna be 10,000 results, or at least thousands that are showing up that are relevant for that search. For Samsung refrigerator pair, which again, a quarter of people are buying uh, Samsung refrigerators now, uh, or have been at least uh, buying Samsung refrigerators in the past few years. The first thing that shows up, and these are your competitors, by the way, if you're in Pittsburgh, the first thing that shows up, no ads. Uh, the first thing that shows up, Samsung appliance pair of Pittsburgh. It's, excuse me. It's completely unrelated to the search, right? Sure, refrigerator is an appliance, but it's not targeted to the search. Second is Yelp. Again, insane opportunity here. Third is the actual Samsung store. Who's bringing their fridge back to Samsung? It's not until the fourth result, we get some very shady looking link here, appliance-repair-pittsburgh, whatever. Uh, and this is just, let's take a quick look at this site. Yeah, this is terrible. It's not, uh, it's not designed to convert. Uh, and yeah, so even for this example right here, it's actually better than I expected. Uh, Samsung Refrigerator Repair Pittsburgh, there's no competition, right? The best competition you're gonna have is this guy. And if you were in Pittsburgh and you built a, a page targeting Samsung Refrigerator Repair, it's not beyond the realm of possibility that you're gonna show up on page one almost right away, considering that this is the competition. And this is why SEO matters, and this is how you can generate tons of leads every day. Uh, through SEO. For searches like this, which are done, again, thousands of people in Pittsburgh are gonna have um, a Samsung refrigerator. A lot of people are gonna be searching this every single day. And the competition, the results that they are getting are not targeted for their needs. Uh, there is this one, refrigerator repair, but a lot of people will add the uh, Samsung modifier. And again, not ideally uh, uh, targeted to converts and I mean, these don't links don't even work. So if you are an appliance for a business in any city and you do service any type of refrigerator, right? So you're gonna wanna have your website structured in a way that you are targeting the brand and the location uh, for the area that you're in, right? So Samsung uh, and the actual appliance that you're repairing. So Samsung refrigerator repair, uh, Samsung dishwasher repair, Maytag washer repair, right? And then the location. So Pittsburgh would be the modifier on every one of those. Without that, you're losing out uh, on incredible opportunity because the, your competition for the most part is not doing that uh, in a lot of cities. And Pittsburgh is a huge city uh, where you would expect to see that, where you would expect people to be having that focus on website structure, on targeting, on converting this traffic. Uh, even if it only gets 
30 searches a month, right? And you convert 10 of those, are 10 jobs uh, not worth it? Uh, just to set up a page, have 500, 1,000 words on it, uh, and make sure that it's designed to convert, um, which again, the competition is not doing. And the fact that there are no businesses running ads on this page, for example, just goes to show you it's a huge opportunity. And we can check in another city. Um, I'm just trying to think of, uh, uh, I mean, we can just go with um, Charlotte, North Carolina. Again, no ads, right? I don't have any ad blocker on, this is just for emails. Uh, there's no ads here. Uh, so you do have a business that does uh, work on Samsung appliance repair, but they're not mentioning fridges. So imagine you're somebody whose fridge just broke and you do you look for Samsung refrigerator repair. All the second result means nothing to you. It just says service locator. This one says they do apply Samsung or they do repair Samsung appliances, which is fine. I mean, it's going to convert better than not. Uh, and same with this one. And then you have a Yelp review, and then you go through. Uh, you open these results, and okay, they maybe have the call button. Uh, but that this is what it shows, right? It doesn't mention fridges. It shows a fridge, but it doesn't mention fridges. It's not easy to call. It's not easy to get in touch with somebody. It doesn't explain the services. Uh, and then going through this one is just, I mean, come on. You guys already know. Uh, this is just not going to convert. This website is getting no leads from uh, organic search. Uh, and, and this is just a quick example as to why SEO is incredibly important. Even though your competitors will be focusing on SEO, they're probably doing it wrong, even though they, your competitors will be running ads. And let me just try to get ads to show up to show you why. So finally, we have an ads. We have Samsung Appliance um, Support. This ad is actually really well done. These guys are definitely paying, spending a lot for marketing uh, because it's structured right. It's one of the best I've, I've seen structured today. Uh, they have refrigerator and they do have Samsung mentioned. I would be mentioning Samsung refrigerator repair, uh, but I mean, they even have the name Samsung appliance. Uh, and then the second ad is completely unrelated. And then again, Samsung appliance repair. Every single competitor so far has missed the chance to have Samsung refrigerator repair in location. Something as simple as that can make a huge difference with the amount of leads you're getting. And it just highlights the importance uh, of SEO, uh, even despite your comp comp competitors running ads uh, or even focusing themselves on local marketing. Um, kind of have a bit of a rant video today, but I just wanted to show you guys kind of what's what needs to be done, what your competitors are missing out on and how why SEO is important and how you can use to just continue driving leads, uh, even if your competitors are uh, are showing up for searches that you haven't even started to target. Um, as always, you guys, thank you for watching. Uh, if you do run an appliance repair business and you do need help with your appliance repair marketing, you can click the link down below uh, for a free consultation call. Just go over your problems, see what I recommend, uh, and see if there's any way that we can help you grow your appliance repair business online and drive leads um, to your appliance repair business. Like I said, guys, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.